Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to set up PP, SSPP on your Linux based machine. So it could be on Ubuntu, it could be on another distro, it doesn't really matter. And so you can play PSP games. It's a really cool thing. It's really simple to be fair. I'm going to organize desktop by name. It, that was just annoying me a bit. That's what you don't need to do that. So, first of all, let me minimize that. Go to your web browser, any web browser will be fine, and Google PP SSPP and go to the website i will provide a link to this go to download and scroll down to the linux right here go to linux builds and from here you need sdl2 and one of the ppsspp files so i'll go over you know the differences here in a second so to install this you need to use the command sudo apt dash get install so sudo space apt dash get space install space and then you need to use one of these so i'm on ubuntu so i need to use this command in the quotation marks if you are on fedora then use this one and if you are on a bsd based distribution use this one and if you don't know which one you are on let me know which linux distro you have and you know i'll help you figure it out okay so just grab hold of that uh, what do I do? I want back. Let's go back to it. Uh, grab. Oh, yep. I'm gonna do it uh, like so. Copy that. Did I copy it? There we go. And paste it in here. And then click enter. Because we are using the sudo command, which is super user do. It's just an elevated permissions. We need to put our password in. This is a password that we would use to log into our Linux user. So I'm in, I am typing in. You probably heard that on the keyboard. And it doesn't actually show anything. It doesn't show the password. It, it doesn't show, you know, asterisks for security. But it is being typed in. So just bear that in mind. Click enter and yours will probably take a little bit longer and you'll download stuff i've already done it so it's, it was very quick for me and that's it for the command line so next let's download these so what's the difference between md64 and i386 some people and i you know i can 100 percent understand why you would think that think that this is only for amd processors it's stupidly named amd64 is 64-bit you know for 64-bit operating systems, for AMD and Intel processors, i386 is for 32-bit operating systems for AMD and Intel. So these, doesn't matter whether you've got AMD or Intel processors, it matters if you've got a 32-bit or a 64-bit OS installation. If you've got a 64-bit OS installation, you can either use the 64-bit or 32-bit. I recommend 64-bit if you have the option. If you have a 32-bit OS installation, then you'll have to use you know this one so let me know what distro you are on if you don't know if you need 32 or 64 bit i'll help you figure that out as well so just grab the latest version so actually not the latest you want the working version so that's the most stable version you can have a look at the latest if you want to see what you know new what new features there are but you generally don't need that so that's it it's really small and simple to download and uh, if i go to downloads and I'm going to delete one of these, so I've already got it. I've also got the Tekken 6 game right here, ISO file. I actually own the physical game as well. So again, this in this video, I'm not condoning piracy at all. This is just purely for educational purposes. And if you, you know, ideally own the game as well. So, uh, and there's plenty of ways that you can get hold of this game online, etc. But I'm not discussing that now. So to extract this, right click, extract here open it up and here it is the ppsspp file double click it it'll launch it up if it doesn't launch up right click it go to properties permissions make sure this is selected allow executing file as program it should be i've known executables that i've downloaded on linux where this isn't you know selected which is stupid but it is so that's fine but if you have any problems you know you know as usual just let me know so let me open it back up and first of all before we launch up a game let's go to settings there's a few great things that we can change here you can change the back end from opengl to vulcan vulcan probably the better one uh, most likely it is a newer essentially almost like a new version of opengl but i'm just going to leave it as default a bunch of other things that you can change like full screen you know post processing shaders like crt scan lines and that sort of stuff 
rendering resolution is another great one i would try and get it up as high as you can because it just makes the image look a lot smoother but then again you might want the old sort of you know raw natural image that's totally up to you the bunch of settings feel free to go through them you can put a fps counter on a few basic audio settings i'll go and controls in a second some network settings for certain games and tools so you can see what save data you have i have no save data because i haven't you know played any games and saved anything yet and system information as well some some pretty cool stuff about your processor if you're into this sort of stuff and if we go to system there's some other cool stuff as well so you can you know select the psp model as well if for whatever reason you want to also let's go back to control so you can put on on screen controls on there but we don't want that we want to be able to do controller mapping so if you have a game controller plugged in like an xbox 360 xbox one playstation 4 controller for example linux works really well with controllers that's one thing i love about linux you can plug it in and to assign a control you press this add button and now you just press that button whether it's on your mouse your keyboard or on a separate gamepad so i'm gonna press up nothing changed because it's already mapped here so if i get rid of that press up as you can see it's mapped here so the d-pad is mapped pretty well i'm gonna map x and circle as well so x and z a and s okay that's literally all i should need just to get started so now if i go back if you go to you know like games for example you can you know find where your game is mine is in the downloads directory tekken 6 click it it will start so if i press z so i'm just going to make it a bit bigger again in the settings you can make it full screen Sexy. Okay, so let's just choose a character. Uh, like, let's choose Brian. Why not? But as you can see, it is working, and there's not much more to it than that. Okay, battle. Let's get in there. Yeah, let's select Brian. I'll put my mouse over here. So as you can see, it's a bit blurry, but if you do that rendering resolution, that will help fix that. Oh, but it is pretty cool that we can play, you know, these games. So let me just beat Bruce. And let me, you know, knock him down one more time. Oh, I want to get perfect. I'm not gonna let him hit me anymore. There we go. Okay, so let me let me just quit out of there. So remember, pretty simple stuff. You know, there are a bunch of settings that you can change in the graphics, in the audio, for example. I mean, there there's a lot of settings that you can change. So feel free to mess around with them. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message and as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.